Hello YouTube, thought I'd quick do a video here on the GMRS shack. You know how the guys have what they call their ham shack? Well this is going to be the GMRS antenna build slash lab uh, shack. Um, as you can see I do have the repeater trailer next to it. What I'm going to do is I will, in the bathroom part, which is in the back of the camper, I'm in the cab that's big enough to fit the repeater rack in there. So eventually I'll put the repeater rack in there. We'll make a hole underneath for the coax cable and we'll put a PVC pipe and seal it up. And then we'll run the coax cable up through the PVC pipe. And then we'll put steel wool in the PVC pipe. Mices do not like steel wool, so they will not try to climb up inside the uh, pipe to get inside the camper. I did put an antenna mass here. I may add another antenna you know, down the road. Um, so that's what, what this camper um, does have power and internet to it. It does not have water or nothing like that hooked up. Like I say, it's it's not, uh, it's just used for antenna building and some videos. Let's go inside and I'll show you how we're going to do it. Like I said before, I'm not going to gut this camper out to make it into a like a, a, a open f workshop. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep the camper as together as much as possible. So down the road, if I ever want to use the camper, I can still use it as a camper. Excuse the mess. We're still setting up. Um, this is going to be where I test the antennas, um, do videos. Uh, there's the Nano, a laptop. I do have a 32-inch uh, smart TV that's hooked up to the laptop. It's hooked up to the Internet. Um, so I can put my computer screen on there. I do have a holder here for the iPad that I can project on the screen. I did switch out the headset to a wired headset now. So hopefully now when I key up, the audio will not cut out, so we replaced the other headset. Um, this is, you've seen this antenna. Oh, no, this one you have not seen yet. Actually, I've been playing around with ground planes, but that's a whole nother video. But you've seen the antenna like this one, but with um, ground rods. And if you notice in the in those videos, you probably see the couch cushions. There, It was shot in here. So this is the testing uh, internet computer area here and then in the kitchen this is where we build the antennas now what i did was is i just took a piece of plywood and set on the kitchen table to give me more space like i said i don't want to you know i don't want to tear this camper apart to make it into a workshop i want to keep it as a camper but still use it as a workshop so this is where we build it this is the bathroom i was talking about this is where the, the repeater rack will go eventually it will fit in this big cabinet so we will put the rack in here can't really see much in there but it does fit in there i measured it and i just got to make the hole in the floor for the pvc pipe and the coax to go through so that's how we're going to do that um yeah this is pretty much about it uh like i say it's 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 simple it's fast nice thing about a camper is you don't have to wait to build it compared to if I was to build a shed. Plus the price of wood is kind of outrageous. So it's much faster and cheaper to buy a camper. So maybe keep that in mind if you guys are wanting your own little GMRS shack or, or, or a ham shack or a CB shack or whatever you want to call it. Check into used campers, especially the older ones. These usually go fairly cheap. Um, the only thing you got to make sure is the roofs are sealed up good. I did reseal this roof, so we're good there. It had a little bit of a leak, not bad, So, but we caught it. We got it fixed. Um, yeah, so that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below, and please subscribe. Thank you.